up y'all it's your girl Chris and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel thank you for finding me go ahead and hit that subscribe real quick I'm gonna give y'all a second and go ahead and do that so um come on if you ain't doing nothing else go ahead and hit that subscribe we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this video this is gonna be a steps to maintaining your 2019 New Year's resolution that's right that makes sense yeah so that's what this video is going to be. Um, you know, every year we make a resolution. We're going to get in the gym. We're going to get that man. We're going to get a new job. We're going to work harder. We're going to, you know, do all these things. We're going to do better when it comes to our homework in school. Still not doing that. It ain't happening. But we make all these resolutions. We say it, but then come February, we don't do nothing. We start off good. After that, we like, <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm Gucci off of that. I'm not doing that. Pass. Whatever. So, I decided to make this video because me personally, I have a couple of goals this year that I'm trying to, you know, fulfill and get through. So, this is for me, but this is also for you guys. And so, yeah, we're just going to hop right into the video. So, the first step, which I have already done for this video, um... The first step is going to be to write it down. Um, I'm a super organized person. As you can see, I have this planner. I write all over this planner. I have a calendar on my wall. I put stuff in my phone. I put stuff in my notes. I put stuff in text messages. Like, I'm a super organized person. So I always have to write down something to make sure I'm like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. If I don't write it down, I feel like I'm just going to lose my mind. Like, if I don't write it down, I'm like, I'm not going to do it if I don't write it down. So, I literally write down everything. Like, this, I fill out this for, like, the months to come. Like, they're coming up. Fill it, fill it, fill it. So, one of the major things, I feel like, with achieving your goals or just, like, a to-do list and things like that is writing it down. Making sure you have it in a physical copy so you can go back, look at it, see what you've done and what you haven't done. You can cross it off. You can rewrite it. Whatever you need to do, but you have a physical thing. Versus just having it in your head, you're like... I ain't thinking about that, but if you have a physical copy of it, you can look at it, you can put it on your wall. My wall's bare right now, but you can put it on your wall, and you can look at that every day. So that would definitely be the first step. Make sure you write that down. Like, don't even, anything else, that's the first thing you should do. When you think about it, you're like, oh, I gotta do this. Write that down, period. Manifest that, write it down, put it on paper. Second step, hold yourself accountable. Like... One of the major things is, okay, yeah, you wrote it down, but now that you can look at it and you can physically see that, hold yourself accountable. Like, that's what I'm working on. I my One of my goals every year is to work out. I start, and then I just don't feel like it. I be over it. And so, it's like, that's a really big thing is you have to hold yourself accountable. If you're not holding yourself accountable, it's like, what's the point of even making a goal that you're not going to be like, make sure you do this. Make sure you do this. So that's one of the major things. It's like making sure you're just looking back week to week. Did I work out this week? If that's one of your goals. Or did I look for a new job this week? Am I working towards getting a car? Am I doing my homework when I'm supposed to be doing my homework? Like paying attention and checking in with yourself to really hold yourself accountable is a major key. <laughs> major key. Anyways. <laughs> um, the third one. Tell a friend. Like me, me and my boyfriend hold each other accountable. That's who I told my goals. He told me his goals. And we're paying attention and making sure we're checking in with each other to hold ourselves accountable. Me and my mom, telling her stuff that I want to do, she tells me stuff. Check it in. Like, did you do that thing you said you were going to do? Like, are you working towards that goal that you're trying to, you know, succeed in? Are you working towards it or are you just talking about it? Like, if you're just talking about it, it's, it's pointless. Like, what, what? For what? So... That's the next thing is just make sure you tell somebody so they can hold yourself accountable, hold you accountable too while you hold yourself accountable. You know, that's a major thing. Um, the fourth thing, start off small. So we tend to make these big goals like, oh, by the end of the year, I want to have $10,000 in my bank account. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. That's not a bad goal to have, but go month by month. Don't like look at it as like, okay, this is a year end goal. Work month by month. So in this first month, I want to start like 500 just to get into the flow. 500, 
the next month I want to have 1500 and you know month after that 3000 work towards that goal month by month start off small so you can look at a small span of time versus this year in goal then it's like whew, that's far because then when you look at it as a year in goal you think you have so much time to get there and then you end up six months in and you're nowhere near your goal which has happened to me plenty of times so if you start off small and you're like okay by this month I want to have this you will get there quicker and then by the time you get six months in you'll have six thousand dollars in your bank account and you're like what I'm almost done you know so that's a very good thing is to start small don't start with these big things and like pushing it to the end of the year start off month by month by month by month to end up at this year end goal you know um let's see the fifth one like I just said set goals in between so that ties into starting small set goals like 500 this month 1500 the next month 3000 this month or if you want to lose weight start off with you know the first month I want to lose at least five pounds not saying depending on how big your goal is but say you only want to lose 20 in a year or something like you could start off smaller and work on toning yourself versus like oh I have to lose this and this is the only thing you're focused on is losing this if you set smaller goals it'll seem easier to attain and if you set goals in between It'll seem easier to attain, you know, it'll seem like, okay, I'm getting to where I need to be. And with that, where am I at? <laughs> I kind of wrote these, but they're like out of order, but I put numbers next to them. So they're in order. Anyways, so the next one, maintain focus. So throughout the year, don't like get off track, you know, pay attention and maintain that focus on I have a goal that I need to meet. Like, by the end of the year, there's a goal I want to be at. Maintain that focus. Stay on that right path. Focus, focus, focus on what you want to do and where you want to get so that by the time the end of the year comes, you're good because you've been so focused, you've been so driven towards what you want to do that you're good, you know? So that's like, that's a major thing is to, to maintain your focus and just like checking in and not like getting on the wrong path, but not getting on the wrong path, but not getting down on yourself like if you need to take breaks if you need to get a breather get a breather but still keep that focus in your mind that okay I still want to get back on track or I still want to do what I'm supposed to do so you're not too far where you can't get back to where you're at like if you take breaks or if you go days without working out or maybe this week you don't save up any money that next week you need to right be right back and in that week that you're not saving money or that day you're not working out you need to realize, okay, I'm not working out today, but tomorrow I'm working out, period. Like, if that's what's happening, period. Okay? Period. Um, oh, next one is up. So, give yourself little rewards. So, if you're setting these month-by-month -month goals, at the end of the month, if you've reached that goal, reward yourself. Take yourself to go get something to eat. Buy yourself a little something nice, you know? Reward yourself because we... We think we get to be adults and the rewarding system doesn't work. But when you have kids, you reward them for the little things they do, right? If they clean up their toys, you reward them. You might buy them a new toy. So they know, okay, if I do this and I keep like doing this, I'll get something that's going to make me feel good. That's going to be something that's like, okay, it's kind of like a prize. So if you reward yourself as you go with your goals, you're going to want to keep going so you can get more rewards. So by the end of the year, you set. And the last one is just do it. Just be about it. Just just do it. Just stay focused and maintain and just do it. Like that's just the thing. You have to start. You have to believe in yourself. And you have to just go for that goal, you know? Like don't procrastinate. Don't think, oh, I can't do it. Oh, like just try. You'll never know if you don't try. Like if you don't just go for it and just do whatever you can to make that goal or like to be successful in that you're not going to get anywhere because you're just sitting on the couch doing nothing instead of just trying and just doing it and just going for it like sometimes you're like oh well i want to work out but i don't have a gym which is what i've said just try do whatever you can in the house until you can get into that gym you're like oh i can't save money save smaller amounts if you gotta save quarters if you gotta save pennies dimes just start somewhere and just just go towards that goal you just gotta try so anything like that is like you just gotta go for it just do it and just stay focused and 
you'll get there. It's like, it's really just about pushing yourself and making sure that, you know, you're striving, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, and putting that hard work and effort because at the end of the year, you will be rewarded by, you know, you've succeeded in your goal and you've been successful in all the things that you wanted to do. And by the time you get to the end of the year, you can make new goals versus trying those same goals from the last year that you didn't succeed in. So that's just really what I got. That's the end of my list. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can go ahead and comment below if you think I missed out on anything for like uh, any of the steps to achieve your 2019 goals. But if not, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, if you watch this whole video, you should definitely go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the post notification button. And that's it. I'll be back. Hopefully, we're going to keep these videos coming. I'm trying to do at least a video to three videos a week. So we're going to work on that. That is my goal for 2019. My small goals, you know, as I go. So hopefully you guys like this video. And thank you for watching. Bye.